Hey guys, at BV Manson here, and I'm gonna take a break from sanding that uh, other fork and uh, turn my attention to these fork ears. Um, these gotta go together too, and these can actually be pretty tricky. So there's a few components here, um, and you're gonna need them. I had to search all over for this. <laughs> Let me tell you, that was not easy, it's a little cushion. But uh, anyway, you got a few pieces. You've got a upper cushion. Notice how it's got a little ridge on it, okay? upper cushion on the top end of the fork ear. And then we've got this little collar, which from everything that I've seen, uh, there's a really good video. I, I should actually link to that as well um, of a guy de dealing with this, but this is just decorative. This serves no you know, real functional purpose. It just kind of covers up a seam. You'll also need a seal like this. So it's actually a, well, a cushion, I guess would be a better term for it. Um, this actually slides up inside of your fork ear. And then you're gonna need one of these gaiters, all right? So these things are tricky, man. Um, these are not the softest. Uh, the Armor All treatment definitely softened these up a little bit, but I brought along my heat gun um, to help get this thing together. So easy, easy uh, to get this stuff together, okay? This one simply pops right into the top, okay? Just like that. That's where it's gonna go. And if we look up on the bike, this is the other side of it. It actually serves as the cushion on the bike, see? So if I was on this side of it, it just kind of butts up against there. That's a, that's our main kind of cushion against the uh, the triple tree. So that's what we're looking at there. Uh, pretty straightforward. Um, let's see. Ooh, camera, camera, camera. Righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. <laughs> All right, so that's our seal here. Um, and then we have this decorative collar. And if you look at it, it does have kind of a half slot in it. Basically, it just lines up with the slot in the actual fork ear, and it drops on there just like that, okay? Just like that. Drops on there, won't go any further, it just stays there. Now, here's where things start to get tricky, okay? Um, well, no, actually not yet. We've got this one seal. Here's a seal here, or a cushion. I've gotta call them cushions. Cushion actually goes inside here, and it drops in. Okay. Ooh, I actually got a little bit of an issue here. Take a look at this. Bent up. I'm going to have to go pound on this just a little bit. All right. So to deal with this, I'm just going to grab a small little punch and uh, knock this thing back into play here. Let's get this nice and flat. Looking around. Better, we'll hit it a little bit right here. Just like that. These, these little brass punches that I bought, um, they're actually super, super, super useful. Actually a big fan of them. Boy, my hand's right in the way so you guys can't even really see. But anyway, I just knocked that down. And then your seal slides right inside here. Boop, there now it fits in there. Just perfect, and again, your little collar on top just goes just like that. Now the fun begins. All right, so what we need to do, if you look real close on this, there's a little lip here. Okay, there's a little lip. And if you look, a great way to indicate up and down on these gaiters, a little drain hole. That goes down towards the ground. So this is our gaiter. This is going to go up. And if you look real close at this, there's just a little lip inside of there that needs to go on to here. Now look at this. It's gonna need to do some stretchy stretch in order to get on that. It's gonna have to kind of lip around on this, okay? Go click, click. Um, I think the easiest way to do this is to go low, actually go low on your heat gun. And let's just heat this up just a little bit. We'll go to time-lapse mode as I, meet, as I uh, kind of heat this up. This heat gun is perfect. It's like getting super malleable, all right? It was kind of hard. Like on this side, it's kind of hard. Um, on this side now, it's nice and soft, okay? So I think I'm gonna try and get this thing to drop on there. So you're just gonna get one end of it and then you're gonna have to kind of snake your way around and try to get it around. That collar makes it kind of tricky um, to get this to go but you're just gonna work it around and give it a nice little spin, just like that. 
and that baby is home. That is how that goes, okay? Got our bottom seal here, got our top seal here, then we've got our boot attached right here. Now, this can go on the bike. We don't have to do much with this at this point. I need to spend some serious time polishing this. Um, that's kind of next on the to-do list. Um, but I wanted to show you that because um, I'm not going to lie. It was a little bit of a puzzlement and I had to go look at some videos about it. So there we go. There is our, let's see, what is this? This is our la uh, right, left side, left side uh, right here. So um, I hope that solves any puzzles. Um, just remember that cushion's got to go inside of there. Um, one of the cushions I had was completely smashed up and jammed up in here. Um, so I needed a new one and that's probably the same one that I had to kind of pry in there, but heat gun, heat gun is the ticket to make sure that's easy. Cause I don't think you're going to be able to do it, um, without the heat gun. So let's take a look at the final part. And again, I've got a little bit of polishing to do some cleanup, touch up, but you know, I just want to show you guys how to get that gator on there. So bada bing, bada boom, one down, one to go. Um, I'm actually going to be working on making that, getting that dent out of the other ear. I'm going to be working on that tonight too. Um, definitely not a body man. So that'll be an experience and a half. Um, I'm going to polish this up just like I would anything else. And this thing's going to look like a million bucks when we're done. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you if you had any questions with it. Just remember the key things, drain hole goes towards the bottom. The ring is just decorative and that little bushing or little cushion goes inside there. If you enjoy the videos, please subscribe. Thumbs up the videos you enjoy. Also, follow along Instagram and Twitter at BV Matson. Have a great night and see you in the next video.